Hey there guys, I was tiling my shower, started on it yesterday, I just finished it up today, so I've got, I don't know, quite a few hours into it, but anyway, it's been about two days since I started, and I started with the floor, I had my mortar mixed a little bit too thin, so I ended up with a bunch of mortar seeped through the penny tiles, and, you know, just a mess, and then on top of that, today, from putting up the normal tiles, I've got just slop all over, I've got mortar down there and that's probably that's probably been about 48 hours since I started so the mortar is pretty well dried on there and I went to YouTube looking for an easy solution and there's just not much unless you want to spend all day chiseling with a hammer and a chisel and then you're gonna end up chipping the tiles and it just takes a lot of time and I don't have the, the patience <laughs> to deal with all that so I went out to the garage thinking well I might be able to find something better I tried a wire brush and that didn't seem to work that great um, so what did work is this little deal. It's a 3M quarter turn roll lock. Uh, it's an automotive tool. You can get it pretty much any auto parts store or maybe even some hardware stores. Um, usually they're in a die grinder. They're used for body panels or different things in the automotive industry to remove any type of residue without really hurting uh, paint. So they're aggressive, but not that aggressive. Um, and same with this, this is a non-marring pry bar. It's plastic, it's firm, but not, you know, not too aggressive. So it, not to chip the the thing. So I started out with this, the little non-marring pry bar and my dead blow hammer, taking all the heavy stuff off, which, which worked good. And then I got down to the, you know, the stuff that's flush with the tile and the stuff down in the grout lines. And I'm like, well, we'll give this a shot. So I wet it down. I tried it dry, which didn't work the greatest. I, I wet it down. That seems to work good. You don't need a ton of water, but just to get it wet. And actually, if you let it soak for a minute, that'll help too. Get it wet and then start going with this. And I did this whole, this is uh, 12 square feet here. So I did this whole half, you know, six square feet in about 15, probably about 10, 15 minutes between chiseling the heavy stuff off and uh, using the roll lock disc to... Uh, to uh, get the get the rest of the stuff off, and you can see down, it took it down pretty good. You know, there's enough room there for the grout, and uh, I've got a little bit of touching up to do. But it just, I mean, you'll just have it done in no time if you've made the same mistake I have. This is an easy solution. It's cheap. You know, you're gonna have a couple bucks into these pry bars, and you'll be able to find them almost anywhere. And then, you know, I don't know if you'll have maybe five or ten bucks into the whole setup. Throw it in your drill. I've just been running it on the first setting. I tried it on the second one and it was a little bit too much, but it hasn't damaged any of the tiles. It it goes really quick and uh, it's just an easy job. I did try it on some of these bigger tiles and that seems to work too, if you need to try it on that. So, so hopefully this helps. Um, I know that's a lot better than a hammer and a chisel. So ho hopefully uh, it works out for you guys as good as it has for me. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like it, make sure to hit the thumbs down. And uh, You guys have a blessed day. Thank you for watching.